Moving on now with the Black Mesa locker room. Here's what I've got so far. I showed you last time how to do the ceiling, the ceiling tiles, and I put in these lights. I just uh, took two of these squares here and joined them and got rid of all the extra vertices, so it was just four, and brought that into Substance Painter and did, um, did that emissive texture there. So I've got those two there, and down the hallway here, I've got a smaller one that I put in there, and there's one down that hallway. I'm not sure I'm going to feature that hallway at all. But what I want to focus on in uh, this video here is the bench. We'll talk about this stuff later on and get to those lockers. So we're going to create a little bench. Very easy to do. We're going to model it in Blender and texture it in Substance Painter. So if you've never made a bench before or you want to see how to make this one, I am providing this reference image right here so we can just model against this it's very easy to do but I'm using, going to use a different method I'm not going to use like a cylinder or a circle I'm going to put down some vertices and we're going to use the screw modifier and we'll get a nice a nice uh, I guess support or whatever you call that piece for the bench okay so if you want to download that you can and we'll go ahead and we will do this in blender we're going to delete all this stuff here Turn on the screencast keys. There we go. We're going to look from the front and bring in that reference image. Once that's in, I'm going to press S2 to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to press G. And I'm going to move the reference image so that we go right in the middle here. All right, because we're going to be tracing against this one. Let's move that back a little ways. Press 1, look from the front. All right, so here we go. Here's how to do this. Very simple. We're going to bring in a plane, go into edit mode, and with the vertices selected, press M, merge at center, and look from the front. And then we're going to slide this out to the end there. And we really need it outside of the, uh, the uh, 3D cursor there, uh, because we're going to be uh, using the screw modifier to go around that. And the way we do this is we just press E and we just move. And just trace the outline and it doesn't have to be straight or anything but what we're going to want to do is sort of notch in here and come around to give this a nice sort of profile so it's kind of sh there's some sharp sharp parts so i'm going to come in and then i'm going to come out and around like that just like that i'm going to come up to here and then I think I'm just going to give a few. Actually, maybe I'll come in a little bit and notch that in and then come out and come up. I just do any kind of shape you want. And then I'm going to extrude that up and we can make it higher or lower as we need to. All right, so what I did is I just put in a couple of extra vertices here and there, you know, to, to give it an interesting shape. All right. So once you've done that, go back into object mode and you can see your profile there. Come over to modifiers and go to screw. And it'll come around like that. And we can have a look at this. Okay, so it's like that. And we'll come down here. We're going to flip the normals. And that should fix that. Okay. Next thing we need is subdivision surface. And uh, I'm, I'm probably going to go with two. Now, that is looking very nice, and that will actually catch the, uh, the material and substance painter a little bit better, uh, like that. I may come in now, and I might look at this and decide uh, if I want some of these points to come up a little bit. You can always do that if you want. But... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. And anyhow, as it is, I can shade smooth. And this is what we are getting for our for our, bin, for our, our leg or whatever. All right, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to probably try to go down to just one subdivision. And uh, I think I will go ahead and apply that. I mean, it's a lot of polys, but that's all right. Because I'm using a lot of textures in my in my in my scene i'm not i'm not going crazy with the poly so all right so we have that and so now i'm going to go in i'm going to scale it down and i'm going to drag it over 
to this one right here and sort of match up the size. Something like that is probably okay. Okay, now uh, what I'll do is I will put on an array. I'm gonna end up taking it off, but uh, I'm gonna put that on and just sort of spread them out and get the general sense of this thing. In fact, I think to get my cursor in the right place, I'm gonna apply it for the time being, come in and bring my 3D cursor right there. And then I can delete these and just, just you know, texture one of them and copy it over. So by doing it that way, I can just easily bring my plane right to here. Okay, I'm gonna scale this in the X to get the approximate size that I want. And if it's not perfectly centered, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'll, I'll adjust that later. And for the top, I'm not going to lay it on uh, another image. I'm just going to do this. I might look down and look in wireframe and see those. And I can sort of say, okay, I want this just maybe like that. Okay, I'm going to pull this down and extrude up to get the thickness. Go back in the solid view. Okay. I, I don't even need that anymore. So this is what I'm coming up with. Let's just check that this is facing the right way and everything is. I think on this one, I'll, I would put a bevel on this. I'll, I'm going to go for three actually and 0 0.01. And that looks okay. And so I think I'll go ahead and control A to apply that. I can shade smooth and I can add weighted normal and normals auto smooth to that. And there is our bench. And so now I'll come in here. I'll select a little bit of this one, a little bit of this one, and control L, X vertices. So I just have the one that I need to unwrap. And let's come over to the UV editor. And the top is very easy. We're going to select this and U smart UV project. I'll give a little island margin like that. And that should be fine for that. And really for this, you can do it a couple of different ways. But I may go ahead and have a look at just even Smart UV Project for that one as well. So I've got that one and that one. That's everything there. And what I might do is take this and just, I might scale it down that way. Move it over here. And then we'll see with the both of them. Uh, if I can get this stuff a little bit bigger then I will. Um, I'm actually going to take this now and pack. You could use Blender or... And that is probably going to be just fine. So I haven't joined uh, the pieces because I'm going to array that later. So just have both of them selected and export that as an FBX. In Substance Painter now, I'm going to open that up. There it is, over to Bake Mesh Maps, 2K, uncheck ID, I don't need that. Okay, and I think we'll use some smart materials for this and make it pretty simple. I'll come to smart materials and I'm gonna look for metal Actually, maybe it's just in material, maybe material for for the leg. I'm going to use, uh, let's try steel rough, see what that looks like. No, I don't like that one. Let's try this steel rust. I may go for the steel rust on the leg. That's what I'm looking at right here. Uh, I think I probably am going to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna have that, and then I'm going to need some wood. And for that one, I probably will use a smart material. I'm thinking of this one here. This this is called just wood solid. And there's all kinds of these on Substance Share. You can download some of them. Come with Substance Painter. You just find one either there or online. So I'm going to t I'm going to grab that one and drop that in uh, as well. Let's see if I I'm gonna put that underneath there. And on this steel one, I'm going to add a black mask. And I'm going to come in here and um, 
switch this to mesh and there we have some wood on there a uh, little bit more than I want to do however on the wood come down to the base and I'm going to switch this to triplanar and I'm going to change the scale to one okay so we get that and we'll do a couple of other things on this so let's come up above everything do a fill layer and on that fill layer let's do maybe color and height we'll do some scratches it's it's up to you if you want color but I'll show you what it does we'll add a black mask and in that mask we'll add a fill and on this grayscale we'll go to procedurals type in scratch use this last one drop that in I don't know you get this kind of painted like it's scratched off paint it kind of looks good on wood um, you come here if you if you take off the color so they're, they're hard to see so but what I will do though is just maybe play with some of these settings balance a little bit less you can you can um, change the size of some of these um, I don't know I kind of like that now I will be up this here I could I could I could do it right now we can have a look it look a little bit sharper okay and then you may have to go back and adjust adjust this but I want a bit and we get some scratches on down here as well so you, you know you don't want to go crazy with these but uh, you know you just want to have you want to have a few so it looks a little bit worn I mean, people are sitting on it and scraping their keys on it and stuff like that anyhow so so that's the scratches and uh, we can do another one and we can change this maybe make it darker maybe maybe color and roughness we'll do some dirt on this so switch this to a brownish color and let's come in here we could try generator and just see what the dirt ends up looking like it might be a little bit crazy on here it's pretty dark down on the leg there and as i get rid of it it doesn't leave me much but there's a little bit of smudgy dirt here and there so that's actually okay with me so i might do that right up the grunge mount and so that is dirt and what i might do is uh let's just duplicate that layer for the time being and come in here get rid of that and add another generator and try this uh, metal edge wear but what I'll do is um, I'm gonna bring this back I'm gonna bring the grunge amount up to break that out bring this back some more so change that color in a bit and what I'm gonna want to do here is change this to a color again I kind of like the white um, let's go back to the generator and play with these uh, I, oh, I am going to use triplanar and I just want a touch of that just like that and I can have it less opaque there just something like that because the edges got get bumped into and, and stuff like that all right and from there you would basically just export your textures bring them back into blender and uh array your stand there <laughs> your support and you would have a bench all right, so I will make sure I've got that in my scene and we'll go on. There's still more modeling and texturing to do. Thanks for watching.